Hey guys, Mars Lincoln here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video, and so today we are going to talk about the Memorial Dragon Stones, uh, how you get them, when you get them, and uh, basically what they are and how they work. So, uh, some of you will know this already, of course, uh, Dokkan has now done this for the previous two years download celebration. Um, basically, they replaced the old format of just straight up giving you tickets to giving you these new Memorial Dragon Stones, which you can then either exchange for tickets or you can exchange for a specific unit of your choice. Because that basically this extra step was kind of for people who really, really only want like one specific unit. Um, and of course, you know, just giving you a bunch of tickets to summon on a banner. I'm sure we all know like the anniversary has just come to a close on global. We got a bunch of those free tickets to summon on that SR or higher banner. And unless you got insanely lucky, you know what it's like on those banners. Sometimes you won't even pull like an SSR, let alone the one SSR that you actually want. And when you take a look at the actual pool of units that's on the banner, there's uh, it's quite a lot of them. And uh, even if you do manage to pull an SSR, you know, you've got some of these older units in here, like, you know, STR Perfect Cell. Um, probably don't really want to be pulling him over somebody like the, uh, you know, Tech Gogeta, who now has an EZA. I guess back then he wouldn't have been as great of a pull. But, like, Golden Freezer, Super 17, Rosé, like, all, all of the newer do confess, and then you could end up pulling one of the older ones. So, the stone is a nice little extra step. So, the way this works is, basically, they track from... I don't know if it includes the Worldwide Celebration itself, because that's when they give out the tickets in the first place. But they basically count down throughout the year how many stones that you have spent in the game. And then the cutoff point, I think, is just after the anniversary. I don't think it includes the Raditz uh, banner, but, I mean, to be fair, you shouldn't really have spent any stones on the Raditz banner anyway, but... That's, uh, if someone knows the exact cutoff point, let me know down below. But basically, at the time this video goes off, I believe the cutoff point has already come and gone. So uh, basically what they do is they track the number of stones that you've spent, and it's literally on anything. So anytime you've spent a stone to refresh your stamina, if you've ever spent stones to reset hidden potential, obviously summoning is like the big one. Um, for every 50 stones that you spend, you get one Memorial Dragon Stone. So, then, when the uh, actual exchange, like when the banner comes out, you can trade one Memorial Stone for one ticket, and there is no limit. So, obviously, even if you get, like, you know, a thousand Memorial Stones, you can just trade them in for a thousand tickets. Or, you can then use those Memorial Stones to trade for a specific unit. So, last year, I brought up the uh, image of my stream. So, last year, I got 534 Memorial Dragon Stone, so I've whacked that into the calculator, and that means that in the period where they take into account the numbers, I spent 26,700 Dragon Stones. So that's quite a lot. <laughs> 26,700 in the one year. So a lot of Dragon Stones, that gives you 534 of these Memorial Dragon Stones, and as you can see on the list, all of these units are 150 Memorial Stones. There is no limit, so if you wanted to, uh, let's say for example you get, what would it have to be, 750 Memorial Stones, and you didn't have a single copy of Turles, you could buy five copies of him with all of your Memorial Stones, and then boom, you have a Rainbow Turles. Now, the exchange rate is not the best, because um, if you think it's one ticket for one summon, so if you have the most godly luck in the world, you could pull five copies of Turles from, well, I mean, five tickets would obviously be the most godly luck in the world, but you could pull five copies of Raditz from, like, say, a hundred tickets. That's still incredibly lucky, but then that would cost you a hundred Memorial Stones instead of the uh, 750. But the Memorial Stone uh, exchange is kind of a good idea, like I said at the start, for people who really want a specific unit out of the list. Um, because if you just trade all of your stones for tickets and then summon, as we said at the start, you might not even get that many SSRs, let alone the specific ones that you actually want. Now, the thing is with this list, a lot of units are starting to get easy A's now, so some of the older ones aren't as bad as they could have been. But the problem is they still have some very old units on here, like, you know, physical Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, we already mentioned STR Cell, physical Goku Black, physical Full Power Freezer, like, there's a lot of these older units that already have their EZAs, STR Gogeta, 
Um, they already have their EZA, so they're not going to get any better. Um, unless the game does at some point introduce like a second EZA, which I think is unlikely. Um, so some of these are just dead pools for a lot of people, whereas obviously some of them will be really hype. So it's up to you to decide uh, whether you want to go for a specific exchange or go for tickets. The thing that I did, I think last year I needed... Uh, last year, Tech Exchange Boo was the only unit on this list that I didn't have. So I traded uh, just under 400 of my stones for tickets, so I had 150 left. I did all of those as summons, and during those summons, I did not pull a single copy of Tech Boo. I did pull a few SSRs, but this is the exact example I'm talking about. I did not pull the one single unit off of this list that I didn't have. So then I used those last 150 stones to buy him, so I actually had him. Obviously, he's not that great, but I wanted to have him for the collection. He was the only Dokon Fest on this list I didn't have. So I feel like that is a good way to go, right? If there's one specific one you want, save 150 stones, do the rest as tickets, because you never know, you might pull them from those tickets, and then you can just trade those last 150 stones for more tickets. So the question is for this year, who are we going to see on the banner? Because this year, I believe, or sorry, last year, the newest units were the Int Gotenks and the Tech Exchange Boo. And they were the Golden Week units because obviously back then Global had not done the release of Golden Week at the same time. So these units had released in November in 2020. Now obviously in 2021 we got the Golden Week units at the same time as JP. So that's the GT Super Saiyans. Uh, so I would 100% assume that they're going to be on this year's version. Now the thing is because there are so many units they actually split the um, thing into two banners. So we had Dokon Festival A and Dokon Festival B. I think this one was actually A. But these ones are all split. So when you use your tickets or your stones, you have to pick which of the two banners you want to summon on. And obviously if you're just exchanging, you can just exchange from the pool in general. So um, the question is, who is going to be on there? So I looked through the list and as I say, the newest units were Exchange Boo and go tanks right so if we look at the timeline those units were released in november 2020 like i said um no units released after that were on there in fact if i remember rightly when i made the video last year talking about the memorial dragon stones um in this was it december did we get a dokon fest in december no we got a dokon fest lr in december and so then in january of uh hang on yeah january 2021 that was when Physical Angel Freezer came out. So I thought that last year, Physical Angel Freezer would be the newest unit on the banner this year, uh, last year, and he was not on there. So that means they're probably sticking to only the units of the year before, which means we probably only will be seeing 2021 units. Now that does mean that Angel Freezer will be on there this year, but who does that mean this banner is going to go up to? So if we take a look at the um, November for this year, so November this year, we did not actually get a Dokon Fest. So this is when the uh, Gotenks and Fat Boo released on uh, the year previously. But because they changed up the order and they brought Gogeta out a little bit earlier, this month only had a Dokon Fest exclusive LR. So obviously that's not going to be on the banner. Now, um, this page, what's this? This is December 2020, so we don't need to look at that. So November 2021... Uh, then we move into December. Now, December, we got the Tech Kale and Khalifla. They were the last Dokon Fest exclusive TUR of 2021. So I would assume that Tech Kale and Khalifla are going to be on this banner, right? Because they're the last Dokon Fest exclusive TUR of 2021. So very likely they will be the newest unit that appears on the banner. Now, if we get really lucky, um, January, like I say last year, January... The Dokon Fest for 2020 January was Freezer and he wasn't on there. The Dokon Fest for January of 2022 was Super Vegeta. So assuming that they're going to follow the same trend, that means that Super Vegeta will not be on the ticket banner. At least for Global, right? Because I'm not sure if there are massive differences between Global and JP. But of course, you know, the release schedule of the units changed quite a bit last year between Global and JP with a few things releasing out of order. So Super Vegeta might actually be on there because we were expecting him to come out in November and they released Gogeta instead. So depending on how they decide to do it, Super Vegeta could be on there. 
And then worst case scenario in uh, November, there was no Dokkan Fest because again, we had uh, Gogeta, we had Heroes. So October, the month before, was when AGL Kid Gohan came out. So worst case scenario, the newest unit on the banner will be AGL Kid Gohan, which is still pretty good. I mean, he's like the best featured unit that's on the Turles banner, basically. So, uh, sorry, Raditz banner. So he is actually a solid pull. And then, like I say, best case scenario, Super Vegeta will be on there as well. And then I would expect Tech, Kale, and Khalifla to be on there. So the big question is, when do we get all of these things? So if we look at the download celebration, you can see here, the download celebration officially began on the 25th in terms of like the missions and stuff, because there were some countdown missions and things as well. But the true main event was, of course, the Doko Dual Dokon Festival, just like the anniversary. Some stuff comes out before the banner, but the big thing we're all waiting for is the actual Dual Dokon Fest, which last year was on the 27th. Um, and then, yeah, the banner you can see here, the 18th is when the banner releases for the use of tickets, because I believe in the countdown celebration, they actually give out a bunch of tickets anyway. So like, you know, even if you get no memorial stones, they give out some tickets for free. So the ticket banner comes out on the 18th and then the banner comes out fully on the 25th. Because even if you don't get any memorial dragon stones, you can choose to summon on this banner with normal stones, which... I feel like it goes without saying, you absolutely should not do that, right? Um, <laughs> so the 25th is when this comes out, and you can see from the date of the... Well, actually, you, don't, you might not even be able to see it on the actual uh, video, but this is the 27th of August this was streamed for me. So that means that the tickets must have been given out. I, I wonder how the dates line up here, because I'm sure I would have streamed these as soon as they came out. If the Dokon Fest banners came out on the 27th, maybe I streamed the ticket summons before the uh, banners actually came out. Because that means the tickets, I'm, sh I'm sure we get the tickets before we get the actual dual Dokon Fest banner. Um, but the 18th is when they add in the banner with the tickets that they've given out for free. Um, I do not believe they give out the memorial stones right then and there. But we basically should have them all by the time the Jewel Dokon Fest comes out. So it's going to be interesting to see what they do this year. Obviously with the two different banners, uh, it would be nice if they do start to trim off some of these older units that obviously nobody is going to want to pull. Especially if we are getting some of these better units like Kale and Khalifla, Super Vegeta, Gohan. Um, you don't want to be getting like a, you know, getting a guaranteed featured animation or something and then you pull physical legendary Super Saiyan Broly. So let me know what you guys think down below. How many Memorial Dragon Stones do you think you're going to get this year? Do you think you'll get more or less than the previous year? Obviously, if you're a newer player, especially people that started during the anniversary, you're very unlikely to get that many of these. I mean, if you started during the anniversary, the anniversary gave out quite a few stones, but... You know, it's one Memorial Stone per 50 Dragon Stones spent. So, chances are a lot of newer players are probably going to end up getting like, you know, 20 or less maybe. Um, but, let me know what you guys think down below. I know I definitely wailed out more this year than I did in the previous years. Um, I would be very surprised if I get less than I did last year. Although, of course, of course last year did have the uh, 4,000 Stones of No Blue Evolution Vegeta shaft arc. So... I don't know. I've, I've, I've had quite a few banners this year where I've had to go pretty deep to get the unit. So I feel like I am going to end up getting more than I did last year. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. How will you use yours? Are there any specific units you want to go after for the 150? Or are you just going to trade them all in for tickets and go crazy? I will stream my summons again like I did last year. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that notification. Follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff because, you know, YouTube notifications are weird sometimes. But but yeah, let me know all your thoughts about the Memorial Stones and how hyped are you for the Worldwide Download Celebration down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.